So quite frequently I get asked, how long have you been coding for? And are you self-taught? Did you go to boot camp? Uh, and it's kind of a interesting answer. Um, and I, I think this might be the same for a lot of people. Uh, especially considering that after this, looking at the Stack Overflow survey, 90% of people consider themselves taught, which is kind of strange. And probably not true, but it talks a lot about, to me, that, that stat means that you have to teach yourself so much that you're basically self-taught whether you went to school or a boot camp for it. Now, for me, I've been coding for about four years now. Um, two, a little less than two years in web development, which is what I've worked in and what I've been doing primarily. And, but I really wouldn't say I really learned to kind of think like a developer until uh, about two years ago when I started studying web development, when I kind of, uh, started my channel and I really took it seriously. And the reason I did it was because I didn't like that I wasn't, I was still having difficulty on like homework in college and uh, a lot of the assignments and I wasn't as good as a developer as a lot of these other, uh, you know, you have the, yeah, the, the, like these 19 year old kids who are, and I'm like 25 or 26 at this time trying to be a developer and they've been developing since they were like 12 and I'm just getting started and like it wasn't an ego thing so much as I could see how good they were and how outclassed I was and I wanted to, to get somewhere where we were in the realm of competition. And it wasn't like you were the Jedi Master and I don't have any uh, force at all. Like, like I, I, I didn't need to be Yoda, you know what I mean? But I did need to be a Padawan. And so, uh, I don't know, Star Wars reference, uh, some of you may not got that. But basically, I just wanted to be able to... I could, I could see how good somebody was, and I wanted to get better, and that's how my channel kind of started. Um, but I would say, really, I've only been studying code for two years uh, in web development, which is what I work in. Before then, those previous two years were all Java development. Uh, so Java is a very robust language. One, I actually hate, and I, I don't really enjoy it. And that could be a combination of it being with it part of school and how it's taught and what you do with it, as well as other things. But uh, basically, two to four years, depending on how you look at it. But um, I've been working professionally as a developer for six or seven months now, and freelance for about a year before that. And so I think once I really started freelancing is probably when I felt comfortable enough to say that I've been studying code well enough that I could pick up some clients and, and make a little bit of side money um, doing easy and basic things. Now, do I consider myself self-taught or... How, you know, what category do I fall into? Because I was in school, and I will say that those two years that I spent studying Java did give me something. And what it gave me was the ability to kind of reprogram my brain, to think like a programmer, and to think like a developer, which is a skill set that you need. And one you can develop on your own as well. Um, but it just happened that it, it triggered that process. I think I really uh, grasped it when I started working on the free code camp projects. I had to build something, and that was when I really started loving this. Um, but I consider myself self-taught because everything I work in to this day, I, I've never had a course on. Um, you know, JavaScript, never had any coursework on. Uh, jQuery, no coursework. Angular, no coursework. Node, no coursework. Express, no coursework. No, no MongoDB, no Mongoose, no coursework. Um, I've had one HTML and CSS course. That was the most outdated piece of shit I've ever had in college. And everything that I've worked with in, in the recent terms has all been self-taught. So I do consider myself a, a self-taught developer. And it's a skill that you need when you're trying to be a successful developer because like that 90% in the Stack Overflow, you are learning things, especially in web development, so fast that if you want to uh, if you want to be a good developer, you have to constantly be learning. And you're not going to have time to go back and wait for the college curriculum to update 10 years later. You need, you need it now, and you need to do that through documentation. And it changes so fast that colleges wouldn't even be able to do that. Let's say in, in reality, let's say they only, they could change every four years because that's how you start here. This is what we're going to teach you over these four years. And then we refresh our curriculum. Four years is a long time. The whole industry could change in four years. So uh, that's why it's important to, like when you go to these boot camps as well, and they could change their curriculum a little bit faster because it's only three months. Uh, but 
when you go to boot camps, it's really important that you continue your learning. Uh, if you're the type of person that thinks you're going to go and get your CS degree, or you're going to go to the boot camp, and then you're just going to start working, yeah, you may start working, but if you don't continue your own education in your off hours, or at work, some, some, you know, I'm supposed to spend about a fourth of my time becoming a better developer at work. If you don't actually do that, you're not going to get to be a successful developer. You're not going to make lots of money. You're not going to make yourself stand apart. And you're not going to go from a front end developer to a full stack developer in a reasonable amount of time. And in the technologies you're work to, working with may be outdated by the time you get there. So you really have to have that self-taught slash hunger and understanding that you need to go out there and you need to absorb as much as you can. But that that's my two cents on um, how long I've been coding for. And, um, oh, and also to put it in perspective for uh, web development specifically, I think this is kind of important to mention, is that when I got serious and I said, okay, I, uh, I'm going to now start working as a developer. How do I need to get there? It took me nine months, uh, roughly. So I, I dropped out of school and I said, look, I, I'm in school and I can see, I've looked at apps. I can see what, uh, excuse me. I could see what um, what is in demand on applications. I can learn all this stuff. I'm ready to be a developer. I don't like what I'm getting taught in the school. I don't think it's relevant. Um, and I was burnt out. Whole mess of things. That, that's either here nor there. But so I stopped going to school, took a job, and in that in about six months, I realized I was ready. And I've talked about how I knew I was ready in previous videos. But it took me from Stage zero of, hey, I just started learning JavaScript to nine months. I am now moving to Tampa, Florida for a nice paying, good benefit uh, web development job where I'm going to be one of the one of the main developers building out a brand new application. Uh, started looking. I realized at six months, seven and a half, I, I started applying nine months. It was completed in there. And that was really... I would say it took me about nine months to get to where I wanted to be to be a developer as well. So there's uh, another two cents that kind of falls into that. But for you guys, how long have you been coding? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions that I could maybe provide some insight on, I love doing these Ask a Devs. I think they're really beneficial. Um, and we can kind of keep you focused in a 10 minute video or whatever and um, keep me focused, right? I, I get a lot out of it by reflecting upon my life. Sometimes we're so busy going through life that we never sit for a second and reflect and think, you know, that is an interesting question. How does that apply to me? And I find myself oftentimes uh, kind of having these conversations in my head before I do these. And I, I reflect upon me and my life and what it's taken to get to where I want to be and where I am. And uh, that's a little... Well, out there, but uh, I enjoy these. That's the point of these. So please ask questions in the comments below. Join our Facebook group, Cotech and Caffeine. The link is in the description. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash coding tutorial 360. I'll see you guys in the next video and keep on coding. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.